Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a really nice weekend. It's a very cloudy day today in upstate New York. Um, I wanted to just do a little flip through of some of the things that I've made recently after taking an online course this month. Really, it's just for my own record keeping, I guess, on YouTube. But if people watch it and enjoy the video, then um, that's a bonus. Uh, but anyway, I'll just go into um, the class that I took. So I follow three mixed media artists on Instagram and one day saw that one of them, Megan Quinlan, was promoting a new class. The class is called Zines Three Ways and she's paired up with two other mixed media artists that I also follow um, by the name of Tiffany Simply Sharp on Instagram and also Wendy Sol Solganek, which she's Willa Wanders on Instagram in case you're interested. Anyway, for $47 um, I could have access to this online course that showed mixed media zines, which are basically large pieces of paper that are folded in a specific way to create a booklet. And the booklet um, utilizes different techniques depending on the artist. And the three artists have separate courses within the, the class. So um, I just took my time and worked my way through each one, creating a booklet for each, or a zine for each one. And the first one that I created was from Wendy's class. Wendy was the first. And this is the one that I created. So in Wendy's class, she talked about creating a zine that utilizes collage and also text. So um, if you notice, my zine has lots of little rectangular pieces of ephemera. I created all this ephemera myself. I kind of had to do that first before I started the class. Um, so I have been playing around with the jelly plate making monoprints using acrylic paints and so for a bunch of this that's what I used. Um, I'm using a matte acrylic paint for this. Anyway, I'm doing big sheets of print up mono prints, pulling them off the jelly plate in different color palettes and I chose several colors to use in my book. Kind of this teal, um, some olive, this burgundy, and lavender. And so that kind of creates um, a cohesive look throughout the booklet. And as far as the text is concerned on my booklet, I created my zine to be, um, to have it, uh, an eclipse theme. So I talked about the date of the, the eclipse and just the history of it and where it was happening and what our plans were. And um, so that's how I ended up with this little booklet. So this was really super fun. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm not super happy with my printing just because that takes a little bit more practice than what I had had before I did this. But um, I tried to keep it as neat as I could. And... Um, Oh, I also used tissue, pa tissue paper that I stamped with uh, just various letters, uh, letter stamp. So anyway, this is um, the first booklet from Willa Wander's sex, uh, course within the, within the class. And it, it turned out pretty cool. Uh, the next one that I had created was this one. This is from Tiffany Simply Sharp. Maybe it's just... Tiffany Sharp, but her Instagram is Tiffany, Tiffany Simply Smart. Blah, 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 blah. Tiffany Simply Sharp. Um, 
created in a very similar way to uh, Wendy's with the rectangles and, and uh, different paper textures and different paper colors. However, with Wendy's, we glued them onto the booklet, leaving white space for the text. And in this case, we just created the zine glue, gluing the paper and overlapping it. So there isn't any negative space or white space around the... And in this case, this is tissue paper that I had stamped that I used in the other book. But in, in Tiffany's case, she had us create the zine and then sew the paper on our sewing machine. So that's why you see these uh, lines. So I can't open this up now because I have glued the pockets shut, but this her zine also incorporates pockets. I don't have a pocket on this first page, but uh, the other three have pockets. There's a pocket on the top here and then a pocket on this last page. Um, I decorated mine with some birds. These are created with the dye um, Tim Holtz dyes and I cut that I cut out the hearts and I cut out the birds I cut out the hearts freehand and I cut out the birds with the dye and in my what is that thing called a a big shot die cutter anyway uh, this is uh, my book from her class and I'm really happy with how it turned out as well uh, as you can see I have the same color palette really but I wanted to use up you know all of those scraps that I had created and so anyway we sew the pages sew down the paper so there's limited glue but um, the pages are all kind of attached using this sewing technique super fun I mean so much fun and I just figured this would be really great to use in pen paling and sending letters I can use the pockets to um, include little extras and goodies and anyway that was the second part of the class and then the third uh, course was from Megan Quinlan. Now Megan creates her own stencils so her class incorporated the human figure but they were using the stencils that she had created that she sells in her Etsy store which I'll link down below. Um, but in, in my case I don't have any of her paper dolls. I have a bunch of her stencils but uh, I wanted to use the human form, so I ended up using these Tim Holtz paper dolls instead. And this little PET tape is, doesn't want to stick to this material, this painted uh, paper. But anyway, um, this is obviously a smaller scale than the other ones that I had created. Um, I did kind of a very bright... Um, colorful background using acrylic paint that I embellished with some marks and some stenciling. Also, Megan's sample, um, her little figures were popping up out of the top. My figures just weren't big enough for that, so I ended up doing it like I did it. Um, and you can't really tell on this first one because I layered this girl in front of this girl, but I created the each girl to have kind of this like collaged dress or outfit of sorts. So I basically cut her away from her outfit and then created an, an outfit for her. So you can see like the different ones that I made. And yeah, so these little figures are on each page and there's no pockets like this can open up completely so you can kind of see how this is folded. 
to create this little booklet. And it's really so such a fun class. I totally recommend it if you're looking for something to do. Um, I love how the background came out on this one too. I used some other little bits of ephemera from Micmac Shop. They're a shop, a stationery shop out of Australia. And so that's what these little vintage images are. And PET tapes. Um, so that's the third zine that I created. And then I just brought some of the other ones I made just as... Um, in case I want to do these again, I just created like the zine itself. So these don't have anything in them. They're just painted at this point. There's no marks yet or anything. So anyway, I just thought I would show those because they were so fun to make. Let's see. This is really just rolling acrylic paint onto the paper. This is just mixed media paper. Um, I used a brayer to roll the paint on in layers and it created this fun color play. This one is a little bit different color wise, but turned out really fun. And so I'll have these on hand in case I want to create a couple more zines for one of my pen pals or friends. So I figured I would show you those as well. I believe there was one more that I've already sent off to a, a friend. So, oh, here's another one. There's a little one. I'm really loving these bright colors these days, so that's why you see a lot of those neons. I just love fluorescent paint at the at the moment. So I hope you liked seeing my projects from the Zines Three Ways class. Uh, if you have any questions about the class, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.